Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Vampire Night Smoke here. Um We pretty much just gotta go down there, but we gotta take care of these cats up here, so I'm thinking just uh Now we gotta head down. This place. Rain may have washed away the blood. Oh, my poor Mary. Not the memory. My poor, Mary. poor, poor Mary. Courses in Southwark. Oh. This is my watch. Damn grave robbers. Hey, I got my watch back. Cool. Nice. Well, we finished it. I don't know who these two people are. Great. the facing coming up hey oh that's that house I went into damn is that the only way across that sucks Hopefully I'll never have to come back this way again. Mm -hmm. 
Might have to reread that letter. I think I read it a little too fast. Where was the necklace, man? You don't even know. Man, don't even know where his own necklace is. Well, I guess that's the definition of loss, yes. That was it. I was going to be mad. This is a slaughterhouse. Whoa. Mother Stella. Fish burn that sneaky bastard. It's locked. Well, that was pretty easy. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. I have retrieved the gift for your mother. Great. Give it here then and take this for your trouble. I also found the corpses. The ones under which you left it. Ah, so that's where I left it. I can be a bit stupid sometimes. Have you no remorse? You don't even deny your crimes. I have many weaknesses, Dr. Reed, but lying about who I am ain't one of them. You're not a mindless animal, Seymour. Surely you have something to say about these matters. Speak up and I will listen without judgment. Could be right, Dr. Reed. Maybe it'll do some good to confide in a gentleman like you. You being educated and all. I regret healing you. Why then? Was there a link? Why should there be? They just kept getting on my nerves at the worst times. That's all. How many? How many victims? How like many? It happens when it happens. You feel nothing, do you? No empathy for your victims at all. You seem pretty calm yourself. Sick, you? sick, We're sick. Not talking about me. Is that right? Well, our calm is the only thing we have in common. Then. Did you take pleasure in killing them, Seymour? All those people, all those lives extinguished. I take no pleasure from it. Just gives me peace. Stills the anger. <laughs> For a time. Don't you think you should seek help? Talk to someone you trust, someone who cares about you. No. Don't dare speak about me to your colleagues either. Keep your mouth shut tight. Especially about my mum. This rage you feel. Have you ever been able to control it? Resist it? I... I tried. For my mum. I tried for her. Telling the truth made me feel better. For a while. His mom knows. 
Why is your mother protecting you, Seymour? I'm my son. She's the only one who knows me. Sometimes I think she knows me better than I know myself. I understand you love her. But can't you see the awful situation you put her in? Do you think my mum would have a better life if I were dead? She seems so sad to know me sometimes. I don't believe death is the appropriate sentence for murder. Not in a civilized society. But the last word has to remain with the law. There is no law around here. No justice to be found. In these parts, revenge. You, what you guys need is a Batman. Oh, I failed to get that one. Goodbye, Mr. Where is that? Right back down there, son of a... That is very disappointing. Very disappointing. I'm angry at myself. happened to her she gone well maybe she found old Bridget right cuz I went when I went through here went through there went around that gate this place looks like the picture I saw at the bomb site. Yes. The place has changed since the explosion, but it was definitely here. We should find some way to pay my respects. Delaney, give him back his gin. I don't know where she'll be, but I know where everyone else will be. I 
Just wish there was a quick way to get across that place. I mean, there isn't like a string of boats here. Just loading. Whew, I get scared, man. Sometimes I'm like, oh my goodness, is my thing gonna shut off? Is the game gonna break down or. You know, I don't know. For one thing, oh, tell me about these demons. Seymour needs your help to fight. Seymour used to be such a happy child. Oh, yeah. And he is still a helping son most of the time. When he gets angry, he can hardly contain his rage. It's like he's got the devil in him. All men and women are born innocent, Mrs. Fishburne. There can be a monster within any of us. Do you think he can be cured, Doctor? Um... Do you think something can extinguish this rage inside my Seymour? I prescribe marijuana. Should calm him right up. Science has only just begun to investigate the mysteries of the human mind. Yeah, we're not there yet. We have more assumptions than fact. There ain't no hype then. Somehow, somewhere, my son has turned into a monster, and nothing will bring him back. Your son's gone way beyond simply bullying people. He has a taste for blood, and you know it, don't you, Stella? Oh, no. He told me straight up, in his own words. It was several days after one of his episodes. Why did he confess? Did you suspect something? No. Yes, he wanted his old mum to help him fight his... Demons. Stella, I know you are ashamed of your son's crimes. So why do you protect Seymour? I can't report my own son, can I? Not a burden I could bear. Burden? How do you mean? They'd hang him for sure. I won't send my only son to his death. I understand your pain, but you cannot mother him forever. If someone ever found the courage to speak to the police, I will take my share. Your son. Oh, no. Did Seymour tell you everything that night? More than I could stand. The words he used to describe his hate. His rage. How he feels when he's done it. 
home. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Okay, okay. Where's Digby? Don't let the people know your insecurities. I managed to reach the mass grave in Southwark. It was not pleasant. Spare me the details, Dr. Reed. All I want to know is what happened to those bastards who owed me money. I'm afraid those bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead. Money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. It looks like you deserve your reward after all. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. Happy to oblige. Can I see what you have? As long as you have money. I need this.
Oh, I ran the wrong way. This way. Good evening, Mr. Delaney. What? Oh, you're a doctor. Is it true Sean Hampton saved your life? Yep. Sad say grab my soggy ass and brought me back to the pier after I fell into the canal. Oh, I was a wreck back then. And yet you're still drowning in cheap liquor. Sean Hampton really acted like a saint that day. Uh-huh. But I suppose I'm just another lost soul who doesn't deserve to be saved. Maybe. I found the location of the explosion, Mr. Delaney. I placed a flower for you where it happened. Just as you asked. Really? That's, that's so kind. I never thought someone would... Well... Thank you, Doctor. It's nothing, really. And I'm sorry for your loss. What? No! I, I didn't know them. No car was supposed to park there that day. Stupid bastard. Why did he park there? You're the man who hit that bomb. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. That's why you don't believe in violence anymore. I want you to remember the bomb, Dyson. Tell me about it. No. I don't. I don't want to remember it. Why use a bomb? What were you trying to destroy? Dawson and Dawson ammunition factory. A symbol of violence against the people. My group wanted to destroy it to send a message. The victims. They were not the target then. I spent so much time figuring out the perfect moment. I used a short fuse. Uh -huh. No car had ever parked there. They all died. I sense your guilt, Dyson. Why is that? Did you not think violence was an acceptable political tool? I still believe our fight was just. A killing an innocent couple was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. That bomb also killed you that day, don't you see? You just die a slower death, drink by drink. I know. Maybe I deserve judgment. Until that day, I'll just be Dyson the drunk, not Dyson the man. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Hey. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those pre one guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. Yeah. I apologize, Doctor. But it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. Well, here's your booze. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone. 